Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a collective haul video for you all. I've bought a few things from MAC, Estee Lauder, Maybelline, just a variety of brands that I thought that I would share with you guys. So if you want to see what I bought then just keep watching. So I picked up the Naked 3 palette. Oh my gosh. Like after the second one I was like no I don't need the next one. And then I bought the Naked Basics. And then I was like okay I really don't need the next one. And what did I do? I I got the next one. So it basically just consists of 12 eyeshadows which looks like this they're more on the rosy side I'm sure that you've heard a lot about this already but yeah once again it's amazing and I'm in love with it I've only used it once it's what I have on my eyes today and I absolutely love it the other thing that I bought from Beauty Bay was the cover effects cream concealer in the shade extra light and it just looks like this it comes in a squeeze tube box looks like this and yeah I'm super excited to try this out I've heard Jodie from Guru Beauty rave about this stuff so I am so intrigued to see how it performs knowing her recommendations I'm assuming that it's going to be absolutely lovely and I cannot wait to try it out myself so the next product I purchased I have been eyeing out for a very very long time now and I just have not been able to justify the price but I finally got up the courage to just bite the bullet and, and get the product to try on my own. But yes, with that said, it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And I bought it in the shade Eternal Light. I was going to get the shade Dim Light. But I don't know. I thought that Eternal Light I would have more use out of. And you do get 10 grams in this. I haven't used this yet. I've just been staring in envy of the powder. It's so beautiful. The next place I stopped by was MAC. And I did buy a quite a few things but this wasn't all in one trip so whatever. The first thing that I picked up was the Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in shade Light and the powder just looks like this. It does look very very light compared to my face but this is what the lady recommended for me so I just thought that I would go for it and if it does turn out to be too light then I can always just use it to set under my eyes. Um, I bought a, another MAC Studio Fix powder because I ran out of mine. I repurchased in the shade N3 and this shade the lady recommended for me also. Yeah so we will see how how it goes it does look a bit pinky in the pan so let's hope it works you guys are probably thinking Laura you have enough stuff I bought three MAC lipsticks what on earth is wrong with me I don't know but I bought the shades Snob, Saint Germain and Rebel I bought Saint Germain as per Shan XO's older videos how she was obsessed with this I'm pretty sure she still is obsessed I'm not too sure but I bought this because of her and then the other two I just picked out on my own free will so this is Snob which looks like this I am terrible at describing colours so I'm not even going to try, but it does look like that. Saint Germain, which is like a bright pink, I'm obsessed and I cannot wait to wear this. And Rebel, that I bought, super excited to use during the winter time, obsessed. I haven't even used it yet, but I'm obsessed, so I cannot wait for that one. This I've honestly been wanting for months and months and months. I was with my little cousin at the Mac store and she was like, oh, look at this. This is strange. And I was like, that's not strange. That's beautiful. And I couldn't justify the price at that point in time. But I've been thinking about it for months and months and months. And that truly means that I want something. And that's the pigment in blue brown. I know pigments are quite expensive. But I've honestly been thinking about this for like literally maybe six months. So, and it's still been in my mind every single time. I swatch it every time I go. So I just thought I may as well pick it up. And then this last thing is as per Shan XO's recommendations from her, was it yearly favorites? I think so. But this is the Prep and Prime The Skin Base Visage. She said that she prefers this over the Natural Radiance one or whatever Radiance one. So I decided to pick this one up instead. Hopefully it's good because it was also quite pricey as with all MAC products. So the next thing that I purchased was the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Serum. If you guys don't know, I am skincare obsessed. Anything regards to skincare, I want it, I need it. This was no exception. At Maya, Illamasqua was on sale, so I just had to have a look at the sale stands, and it just so happens that I picked up like four things. The first product being this cream pigment in the shade Hollow, and I have used this a few times now, and I really, really enjoy it. I use it for cream contouring, and I like using it as a base on my eyelids, and I have even used it once on my lips to mute out my lip color to put a lipstick over the top. And I think this was like $20 and a few cents. And then the next thing that I purchased was a nail polish in the shade Optimus. And this was only $5. So I had to buy it because I love using, I needed a nice orange nail polish 
to do my little penguins because I don't know. So I also bought this foundation in the shade LF335. I didn't buy this for like my entire face because it is a bit dark, but I did buy it for liquid contouring. It was only $4. So yeah, me and my friend Fran bought one each and we both love it. I've used it maybe a few times now and I adore it. So I did recently haul quite a few drugstore products. I'll link that video down below. So I didn't go crazy on the drugstore this time, but I did buy a few things. So I bought this CoverGirl Intense Shadow Glass in the shade Extreme Green. If you've been watching my channel for a little while, then you'll know that I love these. They are so great. And yeah, I just thought I'd pick up the green one. It was on sale at Target for $3, so I couldn't pass that up at all. And then the rest is from Priceline. I picked up this Maybelline Eye Studio Quad in the shade Copper Sheep. I'm not too sure how much this was, but love it. The colors are so amazing. I also picked up a lip gloss from Maybelline. It's just this pink color in the shade electric shock i haven't used this yet and i haven't heard anything in regards to their color sensational high shine lip glosses and then the last thing that i picked up for this extremely long haul is a maybelline great lash lots of lashes and funnily enough i've literally been putting off buying this for about maybe two and a half years now okay guys so that's the end of my haul i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope i didn't overwhelm you with too many products but if you want to see any of these products featured in any of my future videos then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to do so. And without rambling on much longer, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.